genuine curiosity. So if we're wondering what role genuine curiosity plays in our lives, we can think about it in the same way we say that CMM is one approach to your life and relationships. Genuine curiosity is also an approach. And it goes hand in hand with CMM. We want to approach people, experiences, ideas, emotions with genuine curiosity. And like everything in our CMM approach, it's a choice. Specifically, the way that I understand it is that the choice is between showing up in a critical, judging, and closed-minded way, or showing up in a non-judging and open-minded way. This is not to say that we should never be critical of the ideas and systems that we encounter, but especially as we approach other people, if that is our approach, instead of genuine curiosity, genuine inquiry being our approach, then that really does have the power to end the possibility of any kind of conversation that is meaningful, intelligent, loving, and connecting. So what does it mean to be genuinely curious? One distinction we make when we're talking about communication and specifically how you show up when you're the listener in a conversation is the difference between listening to respond, which means you're not really paying attention to what the other person's saying. You're just waiting until they stop or take a long enough pause where you can interject. The other option is to listen to understand. So you're really listening to hear that person and asking questions to further your understanding and then using that to formulate your response. Think about how you would define genuine curiosity. What examples do you have in your own life? Either as someone who used the approach of genuine curiosity or when someone approached you with genuine curiosity. What did it look like? What did it feel like? 